shout from the Title 50 news desk. Burdick Primary School are applying to NASA to grow world of students from the space station. Over to our Rover reporter, Jonah. Okay, why should NASA let you grow the world of seeds? We are experts at citizen, citizen science projects. This year we have completed bird surveys for Black Australia. We also collected the water quality on local wetlands. Next, we are speaking to a second generation citizen scientist. Over to Jonah, who is with Ella. I am proud of my citizen science family. My sister Kayla was a part of the team that planted this butterfly garden in 2017. This year I helped add another 50 plants to this habitat. Last year the class planted a butterfly around the local wetland. Understanding history helps us prepare for the future. Over to history buff Amber. Amber, is it true that you know the goss on the garden? Gossip? Me? Or Jonah, did you know that Bowdoin has planted 1,500 plants in Minato Zoo? We've seen 100 in Minato Zoo. Why? Well, it was to create a food bank for the next 30 years. Bowdoin also grew 1,000 plants for bringing back the butterfly gate. And we also have an edible garden. Wow, you little eco-warriors. What's next for Bowdoin Primary School, Jonah? What's next for me? Let's ask the chick chicks. Well, Jonah, our next experiment is out of this world. Literally out of this world. Have you heard of NASA space stations? Yes and yes. NASA is sending Australian model seeds up to space for six months and then back down to Earth. We want to be involved. We want to be the ones that plant those seeds. When they go about this tool, they'll collect them and then they, NASA are going to collect them and send them all over Australia to be planted. All over Australia. All over Australia.